this is really interesting. It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Hey, it's Jason with Denworks. Got a pretty cool rig here. Actually, super cool. It's a 1991 BMW 318 IS in really nice condition. Very, very, very original. Just a nice, nice car. You can see the, the badging right there, 318 IS. It's only got 90, 93,000 miles, about 93.5, and uh, on bring a trailer it shows 94,000 but it's 93.5 this was bought by a good friend of mine named Gary out of eastern Washington I've sold a couple cars for him on bring a trailer if you need any help selling anything we would be glad to help as long as we don't have to do smoke and mirrors we're not into that we want to be able to show exactly what it is we don't like people with surprises and, and stuff like that, and, and I know that you don't either. So you can go to our website, go to Instagram, uh, check us out. We would be glad to help. Also, we have a, my wife and I, Mrs. Denworks, started a little podcast. If you want to look us up on Instagram, there's a link that goes there, actually on our website, denworks.com. There's a link, and it's a lot, uh, just about a lot of different things, cars, fun, marriage, just different kind of things. So, um, she even beat me in my Raptor over there at the racetrack the other day at Woodburn. So anyway, she's kind of gloating about that uh, for good reason, so I lost. But anyways, we'll uh, rock around it here and we'll put it up on my lift so you can see it, show you the interior underneath the hood. Again, like I said, it's really original. No paint work except on the bottom spoiler, kind of on the edges where it got rubbed. It's been touched up in a hand few, handful of little tiny scratches, but other than that, it's all original paint on it. He bought it with around 40,000 miles in 2010, and it was bought brand new in San Antonio, Texas, and at the BMW Center there, and then it went to Boise, Idaho when it was new, or right after it was new, the guy was a pathologist and went up there for work. So uh, Gary bought it in 2010, actually off Craigslist, and the guy ordered when he got it new, also put sheepskin seat covers on it got key fobs which you'll see in the auction mud flaps um sun shade up there in the top and then a window shade he got as well um and he had the windows tinted but the window tint is off but anyways the car is immaculate and just a ton of records um of and i'll show you in the trunk but he's got all the uh gas receipts from 2010 or all the mileage and everything like that so it's got so much detail on it you'll be amazed and so we'll just walk around here i was going to show you the lights you can see the marker lights we got turn signals left and right and then we also got there's all the lights and then the uh, fog lamps down the bottom there's a little switch on the dash. There we go, you can see the fog lamps work. Do it one more time, there we go. All that's working. No major chips on the hood. A couple little tiny little things, but nothing major The uh, just from being driven. Uh, if you look there real close, looks really nice. And I didn't notice this right there. There's a little chip in that headlight. That's the first time I've noticed that. Um, I'll put a new headlight in that before it leaves. Uh, and we'll try to put a, it's got this halogen, halogen, Sylvania, and Sylvania here. But if I can't get a match for the other side, we'll replace both of them on each side. Here you can see this little scuff on the bottom of the valance that's been touched up. We didn't want to repaint that down there because it's original, so we just touched it up a little bit. And you can see a little scuff right here that's just been touched up. It wasn't sprayed, it was just brush touched. Uh, right there. If you look down the side, very, very, very straight. No door dings or anything like that. Tires he put on in 2018, and they are 195, 65, 14s, and they're in really good shape overall. Original wheels. You can see a couple little 
chips in the paint, but no curb rash on the front too. There's a couple little nicks on this one here, uh, right there and right there, but otherwise the rest of it looks really good. All the tires match around obviously. Mud flaps are in really good condition. Rockers are very, very nice. No rust or anything like that around the wheel lips. No bubbles on this car at all. When the guy got it new too, he put, um, had the windows etched. You can see here for theft. It was popular back in the day. Uh, so you can see those are on there. Uh, go ahead and uh, open the sunroof. Sunroof opens nice. And then also the sunshade, go ahead and keep, keep on going back. The sunshade is nice. We had this off and there was a little tiny rub, not through the paint. There's a little tiny rub uh, around the edge of the paint. Might be able to be buffed out and stuff. So, but otherwise very, very nice. There's a little tiny little scratch right here that's been touched up. Um, and there's another one that's about the same size on that side that I'll show you here. Look down the side, again, very straight. Go ahead and let's do the lights back here. Got tail lights, blinkers, brake lights, and then we got reverse, and license plate light I'm sure is working. Yep, both of them are working. And then this is the original plate frame, San Antonio uh, BMW Center. So everything's real nice, you know. Car hasn't been detailed or anything like that. Um, I did take a little wax, try to. You can see right here, it's kind of a dirt, but it's really not dirt. I, it, you can just see it along the edge right there on the paint. So that probably needs to be clean. Original spoiler, um, but overall, really nice. Emblem sharp. Car's always been garaged, obviously. You know, it's just just a nice, nice condition. Here's that scratch right there. And that's what, pretty much the same one that's on that door over there. Around the wheel lip, again, looks good. Then you can also see, like, look at all the little spot welds there. Little curb rash right here on that wheel. Bottom of the rockers, again, look really nice on this car. The car's just in nice shape. Very, very nice driver. Um, show car, whatever you want to call it. But just a great car. No chips in the windshield. So, anyways, overall, super nice car. We're going to show you underneath and uh, in the interior.
nice and straight. The steering wheel, I meant to show you, wasn't shaking or anything like that. Um, but, you know, just a smooth car. You can see the miles, 38, or 30, 93, 8, 70. You can see it's full of gas, and you'll see the, the log that Gary put in for the last fuel stop that he put on it. And all the gauges that are, you can see are, are working. There's the key fobs that the original owner had, BMW, and they actually work on the car. So we'll pull over right now and uh, do some drive-bys, do a little more talking probably. Um, just a nice car. I'll show you the windows work here too. And, oh, my camera's acting like a weirdo. <laughs> Hold on one second. Hold on. Bear with me, guys. It's, it's behaving badly. Okay, there we go. There's always something. Windows. They work. I'll do this one. Push the cigarette lighter in there real fast. By the way, non-smoker. No one just smoked in this at all. Um, and a minute ago, I was showing you the tack work. Actually, for fun, I haven't tried it. Let's try the window squirters. I don't even know how to do it. Oh, there you can see the window squirters work. And then the cigarette lighter just came off. So that's working too. So for the other thing too, it has this little, I'll get out here and we can go, we'll do a little drive around. The original owner, also had put in this um from the dealership this cup holder and armrest so that's something that was added as well so we will go ahead and uh, do some drive-bys for you Gonna take a look underneath the hood here. Really nice underneath here. Very, very original. You can actually see the original Cosmoline in here. It's just crazy. They never washed it off when it was new. And you know, we didn't try to wash it off because it's it's original. I mean it's what it what it is. So you could maybe get it off if you wanted, but you know it's it's on there so that's kind of cool and one of the guys in the in the auction there said it was actually really cool that it was on there like that would be totally uh great things for uh for show and everything just showing the originalness um if memory serves me right it did have a new radiator in it i think you can see that in the notes um but and here's the factory um or dealer installed alarm as well. Hit one of the key fobs real fast. You'll hear it beep. There you go. Do it again. I think number two is uh, disengage. But very, very clean underneath this hood. If you look inside here, very nice. You can see the original Vintag. Stanley, I see you made it again. You can see the insulation pad is in good shape as well. Again, no accident damage up here whatsoever. Um, it's just really nice underneath here. You can see here the number again. You can see I was painting something with my black fingers. Not on this car though. Original stickers. You know, just really clean. Everything's very nice. Number here. And actually, I took, forgot to take a picture of that one there for the VIN, um, which actually matches here as well. Um, but I'll actually snap a picture and show that. But really, really clean underneath here. Go ahead and uh, start her up. Whoop. There we go. Runs really good. Go ahead and rev it up a couple times. Almost got my foot ran over. You know, it sounds really, really good. So, 
go ahead and hit the AC. I don't know if we can hear the compressor come on. Um, we did have it running. You can kind of hear it. You can actually hear the fans, but I, I just heard it. That's very quiet. It's not up on top. So there it is. Just here, just a minute ago, it cycled on. So anyways, we will show you some more stuff. Hey, we're gonna take a look at the interior. Again, look how nice the doors shut. Very, very nice. You'll see a little right here, a couple little uh, marks right there from um, probably getting in and out. Just a couple little rub marks on the edge of the door. Um, look at the door jams. Again, really nice uh, condition. It's funny, I'm showing you the door jams before I show you the seats, but look at the seats. These are all original in here, except this centerpiece right here. And I, I do have that centerpiece. And what happened is, see this little bit of discoloration here from just go, getting in and out? Um, it did it more here, because he had seat covers here, sheepskin ones, and it ended up rubbing a little bit. No holes or anything like that, but the interior is just amazing. Look at the dash. Just amazing condition overall. You can see the steering wheel. Console. Original floor mats. We have WeatherTech floor mats for it uh, as well. I was going to show you this. This is a dealer mounted that you had that put on back then when it was new. It's an armrest and it slides back in there. I took it off there. Oh, it slides in there. That's an armrest that goes on there. We'll take a look at the... You don't see those very often. Look at the back seat. Look at the package tray. Just an amazing condition overall. The carpet's real nice. Underneath this carpet here You'll see some discoloration from the bottom of this. But if you look underneath the carpet here, really nice, a little hairy right there, but very, very nice underneath the carpet. No smoke smell or anything like that. Very, very clean. Take a look at the other side. You can tell I'm into a lot of different rigs. Look at that swather. <laughs> Just cracks me up. Uh, anyways, I'm on a little, we have a little farm, so maybe I'll put that, I'll bring a trailer next. Again, look at the dash, door panels, VIN sticker, look at the jams again on this side. A couple little spots right here, I actually tried to get them out and they wouldn't come out. Look at the carpet, this is the original carpet. If you worked a little harder, maybe you could get out. But I did pressure wash them and I couldn't get those spots off. Again, look at the inserts on this seat. Just crazy. You know, again, the car has been used. It's not perfect, but it's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I mean, for a car that's been driven and cared for, I mean, this is, it is kind of perfect in a way. So, look at the headliner. Dome lights all work. Underneath here, so um, super clean. I'll show you some more stuff. Hey, we're gonna take a look underneath the trunk. It's actually in really good shape. You can see the VIN number, lights working in here toolkits all in there the car is just really in amazing condition you can see the toolkit you look at the foam still on that you know we work on a lot of cars too that's why my hands are always dirty just messing with stuff but um, 
they don't just only sell them we work on a lot of stuff so as you can tell on our auction we sold a lot of cars on bring a trailer you can see here here's the seat insert right there's the floor mats that i was talking about um also you'll see here this is the sunshade that i showed in the picture that says bmw on it and here is the sheepskin covers that go on the the inside and those are bmw they're actually in very good shape uh, still and then owner's manuals you'll see all in the pictures and then this is pretty cool this is gary's notes when he got it um, all phillips 91 octane and has all the mileage all the way from 40 trip home from boise right there that was his first trip 42,000 miles and then it goes all the way through till his last fill up which actually was bittersweet for him Gary's last Philip 93866 right down here at our Lincoln store down the street original brochures everything you can see there and then here's just second owner Phillips second owners emails with the original owner back and forth and there's another Carfax lot of receipts different things and then also original owners maintenance his records detailed history but you're not going to see that on the auction this is a 40 this isn't just like copies from like a brochure or something like that this is 45 48 pages of Gary's notes and emails with different people about this car original owner different people um, showing mileage this is all documented here and this is amazing graphs all the stuff that he's had done at shops this is better than actually receipts because it's actually detailed information why he took stuff there pretty amazing so you know is this is just an amazing car and it has really good history two owners that cared for it deeply and we're pretty excited about this these kind of cars don't come along often you know with this kind of documentation there so we'll show you some more stuff we're gonna take a look at the 318 underneath actually really really clean and uh, we'll get a little flashlight out so you can see different things about it but absolutely no rust no issues that really stand out one of the reasons we take the videos underneath too is just to see structural stuff point out different things that um, you normally wouldn't kind of see in a photo so we started doing this a quite a while back and I think it's I think it's helpful for sure so we'll just start from the front uh, to the back you can see the original chin spoiler underneath I already showed you um, the outside but you can see right here just a little touch up little little scrapes down here but nothing nothing bad that's not a crack right there it's just a little little scrape right there you can see underneath it looks good just some light little things there but Overall looks good, kind of scraping right there. That one right there is a little tiny, uh, just a little tiny crack on the edge, but nothing major. You can see underneath the bumper, everything looks looks good, looks very clean. Um, I'm just gonna show you the back. We did pressure wash off the back of the wheels, so you can see that. Um, that's all original. And there's still a little bit, I, I'm thinking that little yellow is a little co cosmoline that you've seen up on the engine too. 
This this here is the same same thing there. You can see the uh, chipping off. We actually chipped all of it, most of it all off of here, but just from, from age. So if you wanted to get underneath there and clean a little bit more, you could. Um, back of the struts, I took pictures of all that so you can see that in the auction. I took the wheels off, showed you the brakes and everything. So everything looks nice and clean underneath here. Brake lines all, all look good too, inspected those. No cracks or anything around the, the shock towers. Look how nice all that is. Very clean. Uh, the uh, date code, I can't remember if I showed you, but um, I don't see it on this one. I think they're 2018 right there, DOT 2418. The last two digits there is 2018. Boots look good. You can see a little seepage here. I don't know if it's from the steering rack, but it's just steep seepage. It's nothing hitting the floor or anything like that, but a little dampness. Here you can see a number we wiped off on the bottom of the transmission, 008334. And there's actually a sticker right there. Um, but you can see a little bit of dampness, maybe from the oil, oil pan. But, you know, again, it's typical. I mean, this has just been, you know, a car for years and, and been used. So you'll see a little little seepage in, in different areas just from being used and being being old but really remarkable shape. If you look here, the brake line looks good on it too. Take a look at this brake line over here. Again, very, very nice. Frame rails are really nice. They haven't been bottomed out or dented or anything like that. Really clean. Inside the rocker, look inside the rocker here. All the drain holes aren't, aren't clogged or anything like that. You know, it's one thing to look at rockers on this side, but I like to look here. And that's the one thing about a, a video shows you up, up in here, you know, no rust at all. You can even see all the little spot welds and everything in the bottom of the rocker here. Looks really good. Take a look at this side on the inside of the rocker. You can see all the drain holes. Everything looks really, really, really good. Floors, awesome. I mean, I can't complain about that at all. Uh, you can see this floor here on this side. Cat looks good, original exhaust up there. But you can see it's got new exhaust back here and muffler in the rear. Take a look at the rear end, boot. Looks good, not cracked. Again, you can see a little seepage around the, the axle housing, but again, pretty typical. A little bit more on this side, just from, just from age, honestly, and um, really good shape. It's funny, I saw one of these cars the other day um, at a grocery store, this little red one, and someone put some big you know seats in it and stuff like that they probably bought an auto parts store but the car was actually in pretty nice shape overall so some of that could probably be reversed but i was kind of excited to see an is out just and about if you look at the trunk drop off here really nice and down here all factory look across the back valance again really good condition if you look here trunk drop off again Excellent condition. You can see up, up in there. No rust, no damage. Frame rails, really, really, really nice. You know, if you look up inside the frame rail area there, very nice. And back here behind the valance where the trunk meets, really good. Really good. So, and obviously the trunk pan looks really good. So, Anyways, we've checked all the fluids, rear end fluid and tranny, tranny gear, all that stuff, all the fluid and stuff, and everything looks good. You'll see a little, little seepage right there, and you'll see a kind of just a kind of a dry kind of drip there, but um, maybe from the tail tail shaft housing. But overall, everything is super clean underneath this. And just a reminder, 
it is no reserve so top bit is going to get it um, just a cool car low miles someone's going to like this adios